you, readers. Yesterday, we learned that readers look at all parts of a word. It's super important. And I noticed yesterday that all of you are in the habit of checking the picture and looking at the first part of the word, not just the first letter, to get your mouth ready to say the word. So for example, I noticed people yesterday who would come to a word like this, and instead of just going and saying the first sound, they would see two sounds that go together, like PL, and they would go pull A. So instead of just looking at the first letter, you guys are doing a really good job of looking at the sounds that are in two letters. So most of you don't even have to think about this. You just do it automatically. So I want you guys to celebrate because this is a really big step as a reader when you figure this process out. So give yourself a nice big pat on the back for looking at the first part of a word. So today I have a quick tip that many of you could add to the work that you're already doing. Okay, here comes my advice. Are you ready? Are you sure? Are you sure you're sure? Okay, here I go. You can also check the last part of the word to make sure that it matches the word that you're saying. You gotta do a double check. Use your finger to break up the word and look at the different parts. So for example, if I came to this word right here, I would use my finger to break up the parts. So, oh, I see a part right here. SP says sp. I hear, I see a part right here. La, la. And I see a part right here. Sh, sp, la, sh, splash. Notice how I use my finger to break up the different parts of the word. You could also use a tiny post-it note to help you look at one small part at a time. Or you could slide your finger under the word one part at a time. So for example, I could take my post-it note like this and slide my post-it note across the words splash, splash. Or you could just slide your finger like this, splash, splash. So I can use my finger to chunk the word into parts. I can use a post-it note to slide each part across. Or I could use my finger to slide underneath the word. Anything that will help you look at the parts of the word when you get stuck is going to be super, super helpful. And remember, you don't just want to look at the beginning part. You also have to look at the middle. And most importantly, here's my tip for today. Don't forget to read the end part of the word. Then you put all those parts together and read the entire word. Readers, I hope you enjoy your reading today. And off you go to remember, don't just read the beginning part of the word. Remember to read those endings too. Happy reading today.